Contaminants flow through the storm drains into the lake, polluting the water that many animals depend on. The refuse mixes with the water in the lake, changing its pH and oxygen level, clarity, and overall quality. This leads to the death of plants and animals. The decrease in oxygen levels makes it more difficult to live in the lake and limits the natural food supply. Because some trash resemble aquatic prey, many birds mistake rubber bands, clips, paper, styrofoam plates, and some pieces of plastic for worms, slugs, snails, or aquatic plants. The only way trash can be broken down is if it is digested through bacterial metabolic processes. However, since most are made of plastic, much of the refuse remains. The problem is not only limited to wildlife. Mainly it degrades the environment and creates uh, a place where people don't want to be. I mean, no one wants to live in a trashy environment. Um, it gets bad enough, some of their people are going to move away. Um, no one wants to live in an area that's, that looks bad. And litter invites other bad behavior. The smell of trash and dead animals degrade the aesthetics around the lake. They attract unwanted pests, such as cats, raccoons, and opossums. Furthermore, the greater flow of water during the winter season causes the litter accumulated on the streets and in the storm drains during the dry season to wash into the lake. Because of this, the amount of trash taken out of the lake increases drastically during this season. To help combat the problems of urban runoff and pollution, Dr. Bailey has founded the Lake Merritt Institute a non-profit organization dedicated to the improvement of the water quality and management of trash content in the lake. So what the city has, has done, uh, well one, they, you know, they, they maintain a contract with the Lake Merritt Institute you know, to pick up the trash, remove it, using mainly volunteers. Uh, they have also, um, since 1999, installed four storm drain filters. Uh, here's a picture of looking down at one of the filters, you can see that. And there's the trash, that's the stuff you see on the street. Plastic bags, um, Coke bottles, styrofoam bits, um, cups, uh, packing peanuts. Yeah. I mean, these things actually um, work exceptionally well. Uh, unfortunately, we only have four of them now. There are plans for a couple more, but we have 62 member storm drains coming in the lake. So we've got a long way to go before we, we, we catch all of it. Um, these things have helped, but we're still getting, you know, our one to five, six thousand pounds of trash, you know, per month, and depending on rainfall. Uh, the city also does street sweeping uh, in areas, uh, I think, more often around the lake, within a quarter of a mile. It's questionable whether, uh, whether how, how, how much this helps. I'm sure it helps somewhat. Um, a small part of Measure Double D, the, uh, I believe it was $160, $170 million. Um, about 90 of that was allocated for Lake Merritt, but most of that is for replacement of the 12th Street Bridge um, and also work around the park. Uh, maybe roughly $9, $10 million was allocated specifically to water quality, and that would include the money for storm drain filters. Uh, one, one fountain was purchased, an aeration fountain, to replace you know, one that had worn out. But most of the money is, is park related. Uh, I should also mention the, the 12th Street Dam project, uh, the biggest component of Measure Double D, will increase tidal flushing into the lake. Right now it, we're very limited on the amount of tide that can come in because the channel is uh, so narrow and that there are bottlenecks in the channel. Uh, Measure Double D proposes to eliminate those bottlenecks 
which will actually give us uh, potentially an additional foot of, of, of rise and tide and then of course a lower amount as well. So the lake will drain better and it will actually get more water in and out. And that'll, that will help quite a bit. The passing of Measure Double D will greatly benefit Lake Merritt in the future. However, for now, the responsibility as stewards of the lake is in the hands of the community. Three to five times a week, community volunteers scour the shores of Lake Merritt, contributing their time to clean up the lake. It is apparent that a clean lake is only possible if the community takes initiative.